Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the database model diagram to reverse engineer a database in Microsoft Access, for example. I also want to show you how you can create it from scratch. So I'm on the new screen. Uh, there is database model diagram, just clicking onto that. Now when I click create, it will start the wizard, which as you can see there, you can do it from scratch or reverse engineer a database. So I'll click create and it'll start the wizard. That's the wizard. So if you want to create this from scratch, I'll just close this off and then you're just left with the actual stencil entity relationship. So if you bring an entity, that would be like a table and then you've got the option of naming that table. So if I just call that customers, that's what the table is going to be called. And then you, you see down this left hand side, you've got some information so you can start adding the column. So if I go customer ID, which I want that to be a primary, primary key, then um, customer, I'll just cus name and then address, you just fill this in. And then postcode, I'll just do. It's up to you what you fill in, and then you just follow this little step-by-step -step sort of list down the left-hand side. So customer ID is what I want to be the primary key, so I'll click on that, and then you see that the table reacts to that with PK there, primary key, customer ID. And then you can um, carry on adding things, indexes, if you want to do any indexes, all the way down until you've completed all of this. Now to bring another table in, obviously you put more information in than that, if I bring another entity so I can do a relationship, so this is going to be products, I'll call this table products, products, and then the fields I want in there is product ID, which will be the primary key, product name, and then, I don't know, quantity I'll do for that. Now the primary key, if I click back onto that, the primary key for this one is going to be the product ID, so I'll knock that across. Now what I need in this table as well is the customer ID field. So go back to columns so I can link these two together, customer ID. So now we've got two tables and the link I want to show you is that one customer can buy many, many products. So in your stencil, you've got this relationship connector. So if I just go put this onto the screen. So if I go into that one, there's a many symbol and then push, push this into this table and you can see how that connects up. And then you've got the line there, look, customer ID to customer ID, products being the child table, parent table being customers. So that's how you can use this diagram to create your own database structure. You haven't got a lot of um, options in this little stencil area, but you have got the ability to build it up. So that's the first one I want to show you. So that's you creating it from scratch. But what is really cool is where you've already got a database set up that you can then reverse engineer it and create the diagram like this. So that's what I want to do next. If I just do control N for new, it will give me a new one of those and start the wizard again. Now, you've got some drivers at the top here, uh, and then you've got options to set up extra drivers. Just click OK to there, they're all ticked. Now, if you pick the wrong driver, it doesn't matter because Visio will fix it, but I've selected a Microsoft Access database, and then I'm going next. I haven't got any user or password set up, so I can just click OK. And then I need to basically find the database that I want, so it's under users. There's users. And then me, and then documents, documents. And these are the databases that I want. So the first one I'll select is company records. That's just a standard database. Click OK to that. It's now telling me that the, the driver I picked was not correct, but it will correct it itself, which is great. So like a pointless option, really. Next. Now I can tick the tables. These are all the tables that are in that database. 
and staff training records. I'll just bring those three across and then you go next. Do you want to have shapes on the current page? Yes, I do. Next. And then you can select index if you want to index any of these. I'm just going to go finish and it'll bring the thing on. Now, if I just make my screen a little bit smaller, you can then see these tables, the structure of these tables, like so. So it's got three tables I just brought in. So instead of creating them from scratch, you can do this. Now, the, the ID fields are not set as primary fields. So this one, record ID, that has picked it up. If I click on that one, primary ID, record ID, staff ID on this one hasn't got a primary key. So I just need to select staff ID on this one, staff ID, and add that across. And then this one hasn't got one in at all. That's just a straightforward list of courses. Now, for me to do a link, I would have to add the staff ID field in there because I can't see that at the moment. So I'll just put staff ID at the bottom. I should really have um, course ID as a primary field as well. So when you're at a low level in access, you don't actually need primary keys if you're just doing a standalone table but I'll just add that as a primary key so it puts it at the top there so we've got the same thing so now if I want to create a link staff ID one member of staff can do many courses so that's the link I want to do so if I just bring this relationship in and that's going to be the home and it's going to link into this table get out of the end of it like so so one to many link that's how I want it great and then this one it's got staff ID there and then we can link the staff ID to that one so I probably need to just move this up a bit and move this underneath so it sits right just make it a little bit smaller again so once you've got yourself sorted out in terms of fields, you can then do the relationships. So I want the one home one, so that's one to many. So a member of staff can have many training records. A member of staff can go on many courses. So that's creating a database that from an access database that's already created. So the structure is already there. It's reverse engineering it probably a quicker way of doing it than typing it out from scratch which is what you'd have to do if you just bring these entities on themselves and then start filling the columns in and what I did initially but this is quite a useful little tool if you want to map out a database that you've already got lots of companies have databases but nobody seems to do any paperwork nowadays for databases so that this is a great tool to help you generate some paperwork and some structure for people to have a look at how the database sits so hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.